Hey, what's up guys? It's another video with Metric Power Sports, and in this video I want to update all you guys out there and kind of say thank you on sticking with me since the first channel. Um, I know some of you guys were subscribed on ATV Riders, and what happened with that was me and my friend shared it, and there was so many subscribers on that channel that we didn't know who was subscribed for what because we had our C's, we had trucks, we had bikes, we had four wheelers, we had dirt bikes, we had... A bunch of other stuff I can't even remember that God knows what you know who was with who and what one who wanted what so we kind of you know took our own ways he's making his own videos I'm making my own um to kind of straighten things out and then yeah I just appreciate you know to all the guys that have moved over uh, means a lot to me because you know that's the type of thing that keeps me going here with these videos um you know, it's the guys out there that actually enjoy my content. So, just want to say thanks again, and I really appreciate it. So, um, many more videos to come in the future, I promise, and his channel will expand and grow much larger. Um, and another thing is I'm going to be making a bunch of types of videos. I know you guys have seen um, some walk-around videos of, you know, a bunch of random bikes. And I know some of you guys might not like that, and I, I can see why, because a lot of you guys subscribe for... Um, GoPro footage, reviews, um, the R6 a lot, my four-wheeler, you know, stuff like that. And I can see why you guys might not like seeing the, you know, 250s that I walk around on. Um, I'm kind of just doing that to kind of bring in, a, you know, new subscribers. And I do like to inform people, you know, people that even aren't subscribed. Um, you know, it's just what I like doing because you see a lot of reviews out there. And people are, you know, they're doing only what the money tells them. Or they're saying only what the money's telling them to say. So I personally can't stand that. I've driven enough bikes to, you know, put my own opinion out there. So that's why I make the videos. Just so, you know, people know, you know, the real truth. Um, or at least I'll try my best. I know a lot of people like to argue with me. But whatever. Uh, you know, you guys get the point. So, uh, you know, I can see why you guys might not like that footage. But I'll definitely make it up to you because I am going to be making a lot of GoPro videos. I'm going to be making reviews on almost every single part, you know, that I put on a bike. I mean, I'm not going to do reviews on the grips. Or maybe I will. But I don't know if I'm going to do reviews on that. But, you know, bigger things like the exhaust, the white pipe I'm going to be getting, uh, um, fuel controller, uh, HIDs I'm going to be putting up front. You know, I'm going to be making reviews on stuff like that. And, you know, on my dad's bikes, I'll be doing reviews on parts. You know, stuff like that. And... You guys will see GoPro footage on this bike, the MZ1, the Warrior 1700, the Honda Shadow 750, and the Fury maybe I'll do it ride. I'm not very good on choppers. Um, they don't seem to like me very much because I'm a sport bike type of guy. You know, the farther the forks are extended, um, the more trouble I have. I'm pretty good on cruisers, but anything longer than that, I'm just a uh, disaster waiting to happen. So mainly the bigger bikes you're going to see, I'll also be doing, you know, walk arounds. Every bike that we get will be custom done, whether it's just, you know, a simple touch up or not. I won't say the R6 had a little bit more than, you know, just a little bit, but a simple touch up like the FZ1, you know, a medium amount of custom work like the R6 or a lot of custom work like the, like the Warrior. Um, I'll show you guys all that. I'll do walk arounds. You know, I know a lot of you guys like the custom bikes. Many more to come. Um, my dad and I are planning on buying many more motorcycles. We get like four or five a year. So, and 90% of them get custom work done to them. So, yeah. <laughs> I can definitely keep you guys posted with all of that stuff. The only GoPro footage you probably guys won't probably be seeing is the 250. The 250s. This one I might make one on. But this one you'll never see me on this bike. I will just never drive it. Maybe, yeah, I just won't drive it. I've always had bad luck with this bike. Just the other day, actually, you know, you might, everyone's told you if you ride a bike, um, you're going to hurt yourself or, you know, bikes are very dangerous. Almost, I'm trying to get the thing out the other day to go make a video and I'm trying to get the kickstand out and I tripped and fell and broke my neck trying to get the freaking thing to stand up. So if that's going to do that to me, I don't know what will do it to me on the road. Um, I completely laid the bike over, hit the ground hard. Um, I was laying down, so I look like a total fool, and that's just a 250. I've never had that problem before. It was just on this bike, so 
yeah, I just don't want anything to do with it. Um, yeah, because that's not good. But other than that, you guys will see GoPro footage on every video, reviews, um, you know, stuff like that. Custom bikes, custom bike shows, stuff like that. And four-wheelers every now and then. Uh, yeah, and then that's just to sum it all up. And then also, I'll also be getting a truck pretty soon. It'll probably be a little bit older, um, probably 95 to a Ford. I want to get a Ford, but to me it doesn't matter as long as it's got a V8 engine. And it's somewhat nice because, well, I'd rather it be nice because then it's less money I have to spend to uh, do custom work. Because, you know, if I get some, it ain't staying the way it is. It's going to look to its best and I'm going to do custom work to it. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get it lifted. I might. But, you know, it's going to be definitely going to be loud. It's going to look new because it's going to have nice shiny new paint on it. Um, just all kinds of stuff. So, just look forward to that too if you're in the trucks. Um, I'm not going to make that take over the channel. I'm just going to post a couple of videos of it every now and then once I get it. Um, but yeah, I'll keep you guys informed. And that's basically it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask. And I also do recommendations on this channel. Um, if you guys want me to do something and I like the idea, I'll definitely take it into consideration. And 95% I'll actually go out and do it. I just had someone actually recommend me the other day to make a start vlogging, which... I've always wanted to start, but now that he said something, I'm trying to figure out something to do. It just requires editing, and um, I don't mind editing, but I'm just not very smart when it comes to it. So I'm still, still studying on how to, you know, get the vlogging thing down right. Um, I gotta, I, I pretty much have a setup ready. I just gotta learn how to do all the editing. So um, stay tuned for that, and like I said, I'll definitely keep you posted. And thanks for watching. See ya.